In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a multi-policy quote and then transfer it into a multi-benefit quote. So when you're in the quote section, all you would do is go under protection and then hit multi-policy. So this is going to take us to the client details page. For this quote, we're going to need a last name, a date of birth and an occupation. You can also add in height and weight to calculate the BMI and then give us a partially underwritten quote. Um, for the purpose of this demo, I won't be doing this. I am, however, going to add in a second life, so I would simply select the second life button here. And again, we would just need a last name, the date of birth, and an occupation. And again, just ticking no to the additional height and weight. The next step for this quote would be to select the policies. So simply by hitting select policies down in the right hand corner and this will take you to the policy selection screen. Now what you can do is here you can literally just hit the individual policies that you're after. Um, but what you can do is under the quick policy selection up here is you can actually go in and create your own quick policy. So if there was a policy that you did a lot of, rather than popping it in here, you could go and select it and pop it in here. Now, to go in and actually create one of these, you would just hit My Quick Policies at the bottom left. And as you can see that I've done a couple here. And actually go and add a new policy. You could go in and uh, pop them in. So if we do Term Assurance, uh, Mortgage Protection, income protection own life and income protection own life um, you can actually name it so if we do multi policy and then you can actually set for whether they are first life second life or joint so for the term assurance and mortgage protection we're going to do joint uh, income protection on first life and income protection on second so once you've done that and you're happy simply hit save changes and as you can see, it is just there. We have them. You can also delete. They weren't quite right. So if we go back to policy selection, if you go into the quick policy selection bit here, you can see multi-policy here. Select this one. And what it does is it adds in those four um, policies as well as pops in the little radio buttons here. So once you've done that and you're happy, you simply hit enter policy details and this will take you to the next page. Here is where we'd pop in the policy details. Um, so you can see here at the top there are four, five, sorry, different tabs. So the first one's term assurance, this is the joint one. Mortgage protection, which is also joint. Then you've got income protection F, which is first life, and income protection S, which is second life. And then you've also got the commission tab. So these four tabs here all have red exclamation marks next to them. So that means that they're blank and they need to be filled in. So I'm just going to go through and fill these in. So 35 years and the life cover of 20,000. Uh, payable on the first death. Go to mortgage protection. 30 years. £125,000. And as you can see as I'm going through, they are starting to turn green. Um, and then the age is going to be 67. And I'm just going to pop in the same details for Mrs. Okay, so as you can see, all of these are now green. So we can just go through and now get quote. So as you can see here, we have four products that have been brought back. Um, the premium that they are, what they are, and then a quick recro and apply. So what you can do here is you could, if you were happy, go straight through and apply for all of them. 
What you are able to do is you are able to, if you weren't happy with the HSBC product, simply remove the product from the package and you can either add the product here or go to the tab here and it will bring up all of the, uh, the quotes specifically for the term insurance. So you can have a flick through if you're happy with uh, whichever one. So for example, we take this Aviva one, simply hit add package and it's there right at the top. You can do this with all the other ones. So if we look at mortgage protection, income protection first life and income protection second life. So if we go back to the package overview, there is a little key button here. So if we click that, it actually gives you kind of a little bit of a breakdown of all the little keys that are on the screen. On the right hand side here you have a breakdown of each individual policy, the amount and then the grand total just at the bottom. You've also got the variations so the LV product has been selected so the LV product variations are here as well as the notes. So if we were to go and select Aviva the variations and the notes will change. So what we have quoted for here is a multi-policy and you can see that at the top here as it multi-policy quote results. So the next step here if you were happy and the client was happy would be to apply. So all you would do is simply hit the apply button on each four of these products it would take you through to the provider's site and pre-populate all the information into the provider's site. What you can do is on the right hand side here is you can actually select get multi-benefit quote. Now what this does if you do select it is it takes all the information that you've put in on the multi-policy quote and it brings back a multi-benefit quote that has all of those policies under one provider. Now as you can see here LV that top one that has all everything that we've asked for. So at the bottom here, you do have the multi-policy quote that you actually quoted just a moment ago. So it does keep this one here. And at the top here is the breakdown of the multi-benefit quote. And again, you have the variations and the notes for this provider. The benefit to doing a multi-benefit quote is that all of the policies are under one provider. There would only be one direct debit form and one button to press. However, the pro which product you do decide to choose, whether that's multi-benefit or multi-policy, is up to you um, as a broker and your client. So if we were to go through with the multi-benefit, we would simply hit apply, proceed to the provider, and here you'd pop in your login details if you were with LV, um, and process through there. Now, if we go back to the exchange here, we can see the quote that we've done under the applications tab. So this will keep up to date and update as and when the application does.